And now guys, you see the actual headlight box turn on. Hey guys, it's your boy, Mr. Greek 2002. Well, today I'm here with my Mark 7 Jetta. In today's video, I'm doing the five things I actually like about my all new 2019 MK7 Jetta S model. So starting off now with the first thing that I actually like about my all new Jetta is the actual key fob. Right now guys, I have it wrapped up in a key case cover basically, but if you unwrap it and see the actual key fob, it has now completely changed from the previous Jetta. That's right, the Mark 6 Jetta key fob. And they built in now the panic with a trunk button in one button enclosure basically. Instead of having the panic button on the side where it would be, you know, mistakenly pressed and therefore the car panicking on you. All right. I love it so much. I love this key. The key now has gone front and back instead of sideways on you, like the previous generation. I'm so grateful they changed the keys because the key has been the same design from the 99.5 cars. So it's been about 20 years of the same key fob from both second cars, from Mark IV, Mark V had the same key, and Mark VI had the same key. For Mark VII, they changed the key fob, and that's the first thing on my list that I actually like about this car so much. The all new key fob for it. So guys, the second thing I like about this car is the actual trunk space. Let's go ahead and have another trunk. There it is, okay, wonderful. I love the soft opening up of the trunk. Okay, even though it didn't come that way, there was a recall slash dealer understanding that new springs had to be installed in my trunk hinges in order for it to open up that way because it didn't come like that right when I got the car back in November of 2018. So back on topic, this is my second favorite thing about this car that I like so much. The huge trunk space. Just look at the trunk space, guys. It's so big and so massive. Wow. And also the ceiling is pretty flat. Except for that big black thing in the back there. It's kind of bothersome, but the rest is pretty flat ceiling there. You can put very tall luggage and whatnot. Okay. You also have some space here in the sides for more stuff. All right. And that's the second thing I actually do like about my Mark 7 Jetta. Let's go ahead now, guys, and close the trunk. Wonderful. So the number three thing I do absolutely like about my rx7 jetta is the headlights just look at them guys they look so amazing so futuristic so modern and so bright because they're led that's right these headlights now are led the previous generation jetta had halogen headlights this jetta has all led led headlamps and led drls oh my goodness guys oh my goodness i'll go ahead now and turn them on all right that's them on that's the LED DRLs. Okay, ready right now. Here's the passenger side one. Okay, let's get over a look at the car. Wow, guys, I absolutely love them so much. Okay, as some of you know, in my stock Mark 6 Jetta headlights, I had to upgrade my Mark 6 Jetta headlights. The bulb in them for the DRLs had to be upgraded. With well, this car, it comes stock. Okay, let's go ahead now and see the headlights. And now, guys, you see the actual headlight box turn on. Seems like there's two bulbs in there turning on. Absolutely amazing. I see them there. First bulb here, second bulb there, okay. And this is flickering now in the camera, but not in real life. Let's look at the passenger side. Same thing. One bulb there, one bulb there. In the stock Mark VI Jetta headlight configuration, it only had one headlight bulb, and it wasn't LED or HID. It was regular halogen, so not from stock. You get two bulbs and they're both LED and super bright white daylight. Oh my goodness, guys. So that's the third thing I like about my Mark 7 Jetta. And guys, the fourth thing I actually do like about my Mark 7 Jetta is none other than the engine. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Look under here. That's right. This engine is the fourth thing I actually do like about my Mark 7 Jetta. As most of you guys know, it's a 1.4 turbo engine. Okay. 
producing 147 horsepower and 184 foot-pounds of torque. Oh my goodness, guys. When you accelerate in this car, you really do feel a butt dyno. It really pushes you back into your seats. I'll tell you, man, I'll tell you. It reminds me of my old days in my B5 Passat with the 1.8 turbo engine. Same kind of feeling. I love that turbo. So in the previous Mark Jettas, this engine, the base one, was basically a Mark IV style, two liter, non-turbo, two point slow engine that was dead slow and completely gutless. So this slight upgrade to this 1.4 turbo engine is a massive upgrade to me and I love it so much and I'm very glad I have it. And oh my goodness, guys, I can overtake and overpass so many cars on the freeway and road, you have no idea. Mainly the Japanese cars, like the Hondas and Toyotas of the world. You really, really smoke them. And so overtake them, it's not even funny. All right. So, that's the fourth thing I actually do like about my Mark 7 Jetta. And guys, now we're inside for the fifth thing. I actually like so much about my Volkswagen Jetta. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the key on, okay. And it's none other than the brand new Mark 7 infotainment system, okay? It's both on the actual radio cluster here, okay? And on the Israel cluster, okay? Via this middle MFD screen, okay. So, you can go to different screens, your telephone, Vehicle status, driving data, audio, all right, and all these things. Again, this was not available in previous version Jettas. So this is a huge upgrade and huge advantage of owning this car. And I absolutely love it so much. I use it every day. It has built-in phone and Bluetooth, whereas the Mark II Jetta didn't have that. You would have to order that separately as an option. This car comes with it automatically standard, okay? You can go into your car here. You can go into your menus here. Driving data. There it is, okay. Tell us your information. Wonderful. It's so helpful and so amazing. Okay, next. Think Blue Trainer. Wow, guys, amazing. So there's so much interaction and knowledge learned about your car. Not even funny, guys, not even funny. TPMS system and status, that's it. Okay. Setup looks amazing. The phone app, okay, looking for my phone. And see, it has actual apps too. You gotta connect your phone to it via USB. See, CarPlay, Android Auto, and Mirror Link, wonderful. These things were not available in the Mark Jetta at all. Therefore, it's simply amazing that it's standard now. There's a radio and media, SD card, and aux input. There isn't a CD slot, but who cares anyways? No one actually uses CDs anymore. All right, guys. So the whole cluster, along with the whole radio system, they're both called infotainment system. They're absolutely amazing, and they're so wonderful, you have no idea. And therefore, that's my fifth thing I actually like about my Mark 7 Jetta. And that, guys, effectively concludes the video of the five things I actually like about my Mark 7 Jetta. This is Mr. Greek 2002. Don't forget, guys, to please drop a huge like, browse my channel, and subscribe to it. Take care. Have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next video.